With millions traveling to Lisbon every year to discover the city's charm, I thought I had to check this place out for myself. So today, I'm taking you with me to experience the city's beautiful architecture, incredible viewpoints, parks, food, and people. Welcome to Lisbon, Portugal. What is up guys and welcome to a new video. Today I am in Lisbon, Portugal and I am so excited to explore this city because when I told people I was going to Lisbon, so many people told me that it's one of their favorite cities in the entire world. So today I'm gonna to be taking you guys around with me as I explore the city and see if it's one of my favorite cities in the entire world. So let's get started. There's only one proper way to start off your day here in Lisbon and that is with a pastel de nada or two which is a Portuguese egg tart. So I have made my way over to a place called Monte Garia which is supposed to have the best pastel de nada here in downtown Lisbon. So of course I got two. With the pastel de nada they give you a little bit of cinnamon which you can put on top of the egg tart and then you enjoy. Bon appetit to me. That's good stuff. It's a beautiful, delicious texture, warm out of the oven. And these cost one euro and 10 cents each. So I'm gonna enjoy. After two delicious pastel donatas, I'm making my way uphill to a viewpoint here in Lisbon. And one thing to note is that Lisbon is very, very hilly. So be prepared to walk a lot. But all that means is more pastel donatas. I have made my way up to the viewpoint. It's called Sao Pedro de Alcantara. And there aren't a ton of people here, which I am really excited about. And it looks super, super beautiful. So let me show you guys what it looks like. I've walked a good 30 to 40 minutes to Parque Eduardo the 7th, which is supposed to be the biggest park in all of Lisbon with a really nice view from the top of a hill. Yes, of course, we're in Lisbon, they're hills. But the question remains, is the park named after a man who was named Eduardo the 7th, or is this the 7th Parque Eduardo? Just kidding, I know the answer. Or do I? <laughs> That view was really, really nice, super beautiful. You could see the water, the buildings, and the gardens. It was really awesome, definitely worth the trip. But there's also a huge park all around, not just that view, so we're gonna continue and explore a little bit. After a ton of walking around, I've taken the subway for a Euro 50 over to Dom Pedro the Fourth Square, also known as Rocio, which is one of the most popular squares here in Lisbon, and years ago was once used as a place for celebrations, bullfights, and even executions. But now it's just a beautiful place to people watch, relax, and enjoy the outside. I am now making my way over to the Alfama neighborhood, which is supposed to be a really nice area to walk around with tons of narrow cobblestone streets, tons of colors, and a lot of hidden viewpoints of the city. So we're gonna roam around and see if we can find a good viewpoint. I have found a nice little lookup point here after roaming around for about 20 or 30 minutes and it is so beautiful. You have views of the water, the red roofed homes. If you enjoy just walking around, getting lost and exploring the Alfamba neighborhood, 
it is the best. The streets are just so beautiful everywhere you turn and it's just a really nice place to get lost and walk around. <laughs> I found a place selling ginjinha. Como se dice? Ginjinha. Ginjinha. which is like a cherry liqueur, and I'm getting it in a chocolate cup. And some places around Lisbon, there are women selling this little treat here. Obrigada. Obrigada. So it's basically a little bit of cherry liqueur in a chocolate cup. Mold, si, si, si. Good. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao, obrigada. I've actually been looking for that all around Lisbon here and I've been walking just away from the tours and you find this little woman in her door and she has her door open and just selling the liquor with the chocolate cup. Pretty, pretty cool. So a few days ago my parents were vacationing in Portugal and I wasn't too far away from them so I decided to surprise them and spend a few days with them and we went to Sintra which is the most popular day trip from Lisbon and I'm going to show you exactly why while I have my Nth Pastel de Nada. Where are we now? We're in Pena. Oh no. Sintra. Yeah, Sintra. Pena Palace. Pena Palace. We good. <laughs> beautiful. I love the tile work, I love the architecture, it's really a beautiful palace. What did you think of the castle? It was breathtaking. I loved it. Greatest time in my life. No, it's really beautiful. Really like the great castle. As you can tell, Sintra is absolutely beautiful, and now I'm going to take you guys to potentially my favorite spot here in Lisbon. Check out this incredible square. We are at the Praça de Comercio, and it is a huge yellow square, and right behind us is the water, so it's really, really beautiful and I'm gonna hang around here and watch the sunset from here. Next week, I'll be embarking on a new adventure from a new country. So if you enjoyed exploring Lisbon with me today, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below because you won't wanna miss what I've got in store. I'll catch you guys next week.